Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a partial correlation. A partial correlation is the correlation between two variables while controlling for the effects of a third variable. Uh, in the example that I'm going to talk about today, I want to know the correlation between intelligence and academic achievement while controlling for the effects of socioeconomic status which I know has a positive correlation between IQ and also a positive correlation with academic achievement. Let's look at those correlations. This is just, these are just the Pearson correlations. This is not the partial correlation. I just want to look at the Pearson correlations amongst my variables of interest. All right, so I can see that IQ correlates with academic achievement at 0.69, and that's statistically significant. I've got a sample size of 5,000. I also know that IQ is correlating with socioeconomic status at about 0 0.60. Uh, and finally, socioeconomic status is correlating with academic achievement uh, at 0.55. So in all th cases, the higher you score on one variable, the higher you score on the other. Now I'm sent principally interested in the correlation between IQ and academic achievement. The higher you score on IQ, the higher you tend to score on academic achievement based on the correlation of 0.69. But I want to know, well, what would that correlation be if I controlled for the individual differences in socioeconomic status across my whole data set? That's what a partial correlation is going to tell me. To do the partial correlation, you go into Analyze, Correlate, Partial, now you put your variables of interest in the variables box and I'm principally interested in IQ and academic achievement and I want to control for the effects of socioeconomic status. And I click OK. The correlation, the partial correlation between, academic, uh, between IQ and academic achievement is 0.542 uh, and over here, SPSS is telling me this is the control variable, SES. You can add as many control variables as you want. In this case, I'm only controlling for one. And I can see that the correlation actually dropped. IQ and academic achievement started at 0.69, and it's now dropped to 0.54. One uh, interesting aspect of, of partial correlations, I think, uh, is that you can look at the scatter plots between the uh, Pearson correlation and the partial correlation. I think if you ask most people to calculate a, a, a scatter plot for partial correlation, a lot of people would be stumped. How do you calculate? How do you generate the scatter plot for that? I'll show you how to do it. Uh, we know. I'll show you the scatter plot for to do a plain ordinary uh, scatter plot for um, IQ and academic achievement, I'll just refresh your memory, you would just go into IQ, put that into your x-axis, and academic achievement in your y-axis, and you'd click OK. And this is what a 0.69 correlation between IQ and academic achievement looks like. Alright, so that's a nice big strong correlation. And I could put um, my regression line into that and I can see the nice strong correlation. Now what if I want the equivalent uh, partial correlation scatter plot which I know the correlation is 0.542. How do I do that? This is how you do it. You need to first regress your two variables of principal interest, your independent variable and your dependent variable. You need to regress them onto your co your co